All right, so it's being reported by comicbook comicbook.com and other reliable sources are following the suit. So it's being reported that the leaked script script from T TNT's Titan series has been has potentially revealed the lineup of the DC Comics television adaption of the Teen Titans franchise. So, heading the team is, of course, no, no, will, will be Dick Grayson. But according to the pilot script, Dick Grayson will be, begin the series as Robin, so we're going to see him as Robin first. He's splitting up from Batman. They, Bat, him and Batman just had a huge fight, and now they're like he's walking all around the sh shops of ti in Boston. And uh, this is where... He'll set up the Titans shop in Boston, which is a departure from the Titans New York City roots. So th this might be a little different from the comics, but, you know, comic book movies, comic book TV series, they change stuff from the comics all the time. But joining Dick from Gotham will City will be Barbara Gordon. However, in this Gordon, Barbara will not be the typical Batgirl that you'll know, and she will be on the team, but only as Oracle. So th this is pretty interesting to see. I, I really enjoy the Barbara Gordon character. Um, of course, she wasn't going to be Batgirl in this series. I mean, Dick Grayson, if you're going to have Nightwing, she's going to be Oracle, of course. So it's no surprise there. But according to Nerdist reports on the script, Barbara will be in a wheelchair and operate as a Titan's information source. But she will not officially go by the Oracle moniker. Now, this is surprising. However, this will be Barbara's first time as a member of the Titans in any, any medium. Because in the comics, she was not a part of the Teen Titans at all. But next are Raven and Starfire. Of course, we uh, we had confirmation when they announced the pilot that Raven and Starfire would be starring in it with Nightwing. However, we didn't know who was going to play them and what kind of role they would have. But uh, this this um, according to the script, Raven would be carry the Rachel Roth alter ego, so she would start off as Rachel Roth, and and. Uh, that Jeff Johns introduced during his runs on the Teen Titans, so she'll go with the Rachel Roth, either alter ego. But the the script didn't provide any information on Starfire, so little is known about Starfire, but we know for sure she will appear in in the series, and and she might appear until the plans finale. However, Hawk and Dove will round out round out the Titans initial uh, roster, so that Hawk will be Hank Hall and Dove will be Don Granger. And but the po and the post crisis on Infinite Earths version, and uh, the it's the report also says that Hawk and Dove will be romantically involved with one with on one another as they were in the comic series. So missing from the roster is also Beast Boy and Cyborg. Cyborg, of course, it's understandable. Cyborg is no longer a part of Teen Titans. He's part of the Justice League now, and they want to establish that they want people, the audience, to understand. He's no longer part of the Teen Titans, so we won't probably won't see him in the Teen Titans. Maybe if they go the Young Justice route, then we might see Teen Titans. We might if they go the Young Justice route with this Teen Titans series, then we maybe we might get to see uh, Cyborg have a cameo role in the future. But yeah, and Beast Boy, it's understandable CG budget. You know, sometimes you just can't afford what you can't afford, and TVs have strict budget, and they can't afford to do Beast Boy. That's understandable, but hopefully these will get a cameo or at least appear in the future, and yeah, it'll be interesting to see. But uh, that so let's round this all up now. We got Nightwing leading the series, Dick Grayson leading the team, and then we got Raven, we got Raven and Starfire and Hawk and Dove. That's five already, and I don't really agree with Hawk and Dove. I think it would have been better if you had it added either Beast Boy. But if you couldn't add Beast Boy, at least put like Supergirl or Superboy or Miss Martian or or uh, or at least like Kid Flash. I mean, give us something like Speedy, Artemis, somebody from the Young Justice series. Like, why Hawk and Dove? Out of all the people you could have chose, why Hawk and Dove? But I don't know. This could be good and this could be not. Hawk and Dove could do something have potential good storylines for this series, who knows. But we'll just have to wait and see. So the Titans TV series could possibly premiere this fall in 2015, so be sure to check out. Uh, be sure to check that out. But um, uh, that's just me giving you guys a scoop on it all, and uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on all the Titans-related news and series, so be sure to subscribe to get everything. But I'm Kevin Ambrose, and that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed anything I had to say, drop me a like. And if you enjoyed this video, if you could subscribe as well, that would be so kind if you haven't already. And I'm Kevin Ambrose. I'll talk to you guys later.